Oh dear, where has that scout gone? So the scout that was hoping probably to steal a worker or pillage or do something and force me to sue for peace or at least back off on my war, ran past the Bonza Congo and didn't realize that I actually have a Pathfinder up here. I'm sure he's going to be pretty salty about that. I'm sorry that you started this game next to me. Alright, so this guy's pretty much done. Let's swing this guy back around. Just sweep here, make sure there's no barbarians. And then maybe head over here and deal with those barbarians. Bunch of domestic chores. Alright. Yeah, I can take Sousa this turn. Uh, so I wanted to leave him in the game. Because if he quit and became an AI, I could at least trade with it. And that would be good to have a nice buffer between me and... Poland up here, the other serious contender for the early game. But Egypt, which has a pretty uh, competent player at Civ here, and from what I can gather, would be a very good buffer state because it would actually defend itself. And I have no quarrel with Egypt. I don't plan to, actually, I don't plan to conquer really any further because I don't want to expand my empire too big this early. That actually might cause me some problems. So the question is, do I want to raise Sousa or not? I'm pretty sure I want to raise it, because I really want to build my city here. And leave this area sort of empty, because this... Look at this, one, two, three... Sousa just doesn't have access to all this good biz. Now, if I found it here, my border would probably abut all the way up over there, just because of, I'm the Shoshone. I'll let that citrus go, though, and I'll found it here. I think that is my best bet. Which means... I have to do the thing I rarely do, which is raise a city. Oh yeah, this is going down. No matter, this is definitely going... Oh ho! Alright. Let's get you up to where the action will be. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, there's nothing in this city. One citizen... Yeah, annex it, six unhappiness, and it counts like founding in some optimal city. Puppeting it, it doesn't give me much now, and it kind of sucks. So I'll have six turns of unhappiness. Yep, burning it down. <laughs> burning it down. So maybe I should just wipe you out of the game. Because this ain't actually a bad city. If I take, if I raise Sousa and then settle here, I could take this city and get access to that silk. Actually, that silk will make it worth it to actually take your remaining capital and unfortunately knock you out of the game. Considering the pressure here, and it looks like Egypt, because neither of these are the ca so Egypt's capital must actually be right in here. Wow, do you guys really start that close to each other? Where else could Egypt's capital have been? If you started here this close to me... I can see why you might have wanted to settle here to get access to those luxury goods. You might have been bent here. Egypt, whose capital I assume is right there. Yeah, you are under- there is a big pressure here. Kind of worked out to my advantage that there's so much pressure to settle even though Egypt's in a good spot, because I think Warsaw might have expanded Warsaw. Poland might have expanded too quickly. And I don't see one, two, three, four. I don't know if they'll be ready to get a settler over here into this prime location. I'll bet Egypt is gonna have a settler over here. And Craig M. Oliver, the mighty ruler of Persia, who had built the Great Library and constructed Two great cities and one city that I unfortunately had to burn to the ground because he built it in a slightly suboptimal place has retired from the game honorably after doing his best to defend against the somewhat ridiculous onslaught of the Shoshone. So, to the rest of you who still remain in this game, may the odds be ever in your favor. The real question is... Uh, and two. Now that there's an AI here... 
Zal. There's nothing I want out of them. I could get all their gold and that citrus probably, but that wouldn't really be that worth it to me. I could just take the city, but I'm already not super happy. And I don't know if I really want a bunch of puppet states right now messing with all the other business I got going on because I still want to settle over here. And I still need to settle my replacement for Sousa here. So that's negative eight happiness from settling already. And I'll get a bunch more unhappiness for taking uh, that city. Too. But at the same time, that city... Oh, no, I... Oh, actually, I just realized that now that this is an inner sea. So this city... Gaidika is sharing this inner sea with all these other cities here. That'll be interesting later. Unless I conquer the city-state, then I would be able to bring my navy in here, but no one else could. That could actually be pretty crucial for a potential eventual war with Egypt, even though I do want to keep Egypt as sort of a buffer state between me and Rare. Because right now, Poland is actually the most significant threat to my hegemony. Well, first things first, let's get rid of... Let's mop up these units here. send at least one... Oh, I got this horseman back here, so I'm actually pretty safe from any incursions. Let's go down this way. See, because I can't go over the ocean yet, it's actually difficult to go deal with this barbarian encampment. I think I'll scatter these guys just to prevent barbarians from spawning anywhere near me. This is the question, do I take this city or not? Well, until the era of more naval power, and actually I can probably defend this area because I'm butted on the end of this continent probably. I'm pretty sure it's just Tundra and Arctic down here. So I'll eventually make Kizil my full ally. Oh, they want that one too. There's really no na military threats to me because I'm not even on the coast, so it would take a combined fleet and amphibious army to really attack me, I would just have to make sure that I heavily fortify Tomoak. And because Tomoak is in this sort of like bay here, I can actually do that pretty well. Like I can really defend this harbor. And that's my main vulnerability. Especially now that I know this appears to be in an inner sea. Sousa will, be a, well, Sousa will be on the sea as well, so Sousa will have to be well defended. But again, I'll be in this sort of bay, because I'm going to build it right there. So what to do? What to do? I can go over that barbarian, if it's even still there. I could just crank out Stonehenge. There's no way someone else isn't already building it, though. Crank out a shrine, that'll get me religion soon enough. What do I need? 25? Might be useful to have a pantheon. Not that bad. Oh, there's a straight up religion up here. That's gonna be trouble. I guess I'm gonna do all that settling. I could buff out my happiness. Because that would just be two extra happiness, which would be pretty useful in the long run, especially if conflicts start escalating. Do I eschew religion entirely? I think the answer is yes. I think I just eschew the religion and let that other one roll over me. I'll get a Pantheon in 25 minus 7 turns anyway. Yeah, and even if I buff this military out and go on a rampage and start immediately attacking my nominal ally Egypt here, the difficulty is that I won't have enough luxury resources and happiness to keep that chain going, at least not immediately. Let's build the circus first. That'll just be some extra happiness. That'll be useful, because I do want to expand, so a baseline of having circuses and coliseums and all these places will do very well for me in terms of being able to actually expand in the next round of warfare. Civil so decided I might still take this, so I'm actually going to... Especially because right now the only danger to me for the foreseeable future is along this landmass here. 
so I am going to move my forces toward this city to be ready to take it out. Alright, I got my great general. I guess I should keep the great general with the military. Oh, there's silk there. Yeah, I, I think I will take this city because that silk will counterbalance. I don't have any other way to get silk right now. Yep, that silk. Citrus isn't that important. I guess I can trade it because I'll get citrus elsewhere. I think I'll take this city and I'll deal with the unhappiness. And that'll delay me settling Sousa. But that's fine because if I don't settle a new city right away, I'll take less of a culture hit. So I can push my culture out further. Because I'm actually going to, as a shift for the Shoshone, while I want to be pretty aggressive with military expansion, I also do want to push my culture heavily. Because I think that'll give me a much stronger long play than in that other long game I'm playing with everybody where the entire world declared war on me.